Today we're going to learn how to determine when we have a proportional relationship from a table. One thing you want to always make note of uh, is what is actually going on in your table. We can see within our table there is some sort of purchasing going on between the number of CDs and then what your total cost will be. Also note that the left side of the table are your X values and the right side of the table are your Y values. That's how we correlate our table to a graph, which will be in a later video. But as I said earlier, today we're going to learn how to determine when we have a proportional relationship from a table. We have something called a constant of proportionality whenever you're trying to look and see if a relationship is proportional from a table. I always like to look at my first two values. If I have starting values of 0 and 0, we're already on the right track to determine that this may very well be a proportional relationship because it makes sense. If I purchase 0 CDs, I obviously owe 0 at the register. So since that's true, I want to go ahead and go down to my next pair of values and determine if they are proportional or not. One way to do this is to set up your constant of proportionality equation. You simply take your y value and divide it by your x value. k is your constant of proportionality. We're going to go ahead and take our first two values and test and see what we get. So I'm going to take my 12 for my y, 1 for my x, and divide. 12 divided by 1 is 12. Okay, so now let's go ahead and determine if it's true for the next set of values, our next set of x and y values. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this right below here, take my 24 for my y value, take my 2 for my x value, and divide. 24 divided by 2 is also 12. We want to be able to do that with every ordered pair in the table. And if we get 12 for all of the ordered pairs, we know that this is a proportional relationship. So we're going to go ahead and try 36 divided by 3. That is also 12. Take 48 divided by 4, which is also 12. And last but not least, 60 divided by 5, which also gives us 12. Seeing that we got 12 for every ordered pair within the table, we know that we have a proportional relationship within this table.